Yo, welcome back to the road to glory. Um, we made a lot of progress um, from the last time I left you. Uh, I started grinding a little bit of rivals. Um, so if we have a little look at rivals, I've got up to 600 points. I've gone up to, I think it's div three now as well. So I'm getting 125 points a win now from like this moment on. Um, I was only getting like 75. So I must have played about nine to 10 games probably last night. Uh, pretty much won the ball apart from a couple. Um, this team's playing really nice, really enjoying it. Um, we've got 36k because we went up a division in rivals. So when you do that, you obviously get the coins from doing that jump. Uh, so we are sitting on 36k. In terms of the team, uh, places I want to upgrade is probably going to be centre back. Um, like Wan Bissaka, he's cool. Ake, Ake is okay, but in terms of upgrading, I'd rather get Gomez in here. Just start it off. Um, start it off like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to list up Ake here. He's about 5k-ish. How much did I buy him for? 5k. Let me just list him for 5k, see if he goes. And I am going to buy Gomez. Uh, obviously, if anyone plays FIFA, you know that Gomez is overpowered. So Let's go into the market. And just quickly get Joe Gomez. There we go. I think he's around 35k. Wow, that's crazy. Like, because I've always played on an Xbox, you have to scroll on this bit. But like, when you click the price now, that's weird. Because I'm always so used to scrolling. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, no, sorry, that was a little bit uh, weird. But kind of tempted. But been said to get in with an anchor, but I'm kind of tempted by a, a shadow, just for that extra bit of pace. So 32k, 750. That's perfect. So we got him under the price that he's going for. Um, he's overpowered, so he's going to probably be in the team for quite a while, seeing as I'm not in weekend league this um, this weekend. So yeah, Rafinha's okay. He'll probably be the next upgrade, maybe. Or Semedo at right back. Semedo at right back would be a good upgrade, actually. Bellerin's okay, but he's just not, like, not top drawer, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's that in terms of the team. We managed to do objective there somehow, foundation. Oh yeah, I'm kind of doing these foundations at the same time. I'm not really aiming to do them. I'll just do them when they come. Um, so yeah, that's that. And there is a few packs that I got from obviously playing rivals, uh, doing these foundation objectives and things like that. There's just a few crappy packs pretty much, but you never know. Our team's pretty bad as it is. Um, so any, any sort of upgrade here would be Perfecto Mundos. Uh, nothing from that one. Oh, yeah, and I don't know, I've wanted to say as well, I've. Uh, <clears throat> my gameplays maybe have been a bit laggy, um, but that was my PC. Um, maybe previously they were a, a bit laggy, so. Today I spent the time, that's why this episode is a bit later, I, I spent the time fully wiped. Uh, my whole computer. I got an SSD now as well, so it should run a bit quicker. Um, and I completely wiped it. Fresh installed Windows. Just got the apps, um, got the programs that I need, like the editing software, streaming software, and that is it. Because um, I had the same Windows for it must have been about what's it, how long have I had this PC? Probably about five years, and I've had the same Windows. So I think it was just getting clogged up um, with so many programs and crap and. That was quick. Um, so yeah, I fully wiped my PC, restarted, and it's like, it used to take about a minute to boot up. Like that's how slow it was. Uh, but now it boots up and it must be about three seconds. So definitely going to be running better. Gameplay should appear a lot better too. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. And we got a few players for the club there, nothing too spectacular. But I have seen that we've gone up to 9K. Because uh, obviously Gomez sold. With this money, we would be able to afford Semedo at right back. And Nelson Semedo. Uh, it's got to be about 5k, surely. I uh, kind of want him with an anchor. He's already got the pace. 
we can get him. Whoa, he's gone up quite a bit. Okay, 8k. We'll have him for 8k. That's sorted. 7.5. Oh, one for seven. Oh, yeah, got the one for seven. We have that. So that is Samedo in the club now. So our team is slowly taking shape. With some players that are not going to move for a while. Like Samedo, he's going to do for a long while, to be honest. I obviously want to get that Netherlands right back who's a... He's a um, SBC right now, but I generally don't have the coins. Like, if obviously if I was on um, my old road to glory, I would have brought him like straight away because the coins were there. But at the moment, I got to use my coins wisely. Um, so I, let me just lift up Bellerin. Gets an extra two clay, two uh, k in the club. I think he's gone already. I know that's okay like going. Um, so yeah, that is the team. That is the updates, upgrades and updates done. So I'm going to jump into a live rivals now for you guys. Um, and I'm going to continue grinding rivals all night. So hopefully I should be able to get the points to go into champions next uh, weekend. <clears throat> uh, for you guys. So yeah. I said, oh, I brought some subs as well. I can't remember if I updated you guys, but I forgot that I had Beckham as well. So he would have been a good centre mid sub, but for some reason I didn't put him in my subs. Uh, but Carrasco, Promes, Teixeira, Chan is a very good sub. And then we got Beckham as well. So there's many options off the bench, uh, which I, I didn't have. So that is spot on. So made uh, Bellerin is sold. So we're on 4k. That's perfecto mundos. And yeah, let's jump into Rivals game. If free, see how it goes. Okay, that's a bit better. The normal team. He's got the Netherlands sort of link up going on, which is what a lot of people are running at the moment. It's a very nice team, like Paulinho and Texiura. That's quite strange. But... Really we shall see how this goes. Uh, Yedda, by the way, he's been performing so good. Um, for uh, like a budget team, he's unreal. Uh, let's sort my hands out. I, got... I just had dinner and they were a bit, a bit slippery. I am really enjoying Fred, by the way. I didn't think I would. Um, but really getting on with him. Alright, there's Gomez getting straight into the action. Good ball. Nathan Ake plays alongside Joe Gomez in central defence and the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition oh really that well that was the right ball to play then Dembele, and here's Fred. into Dembele little drag back oh. Can they forge ahead? Oh, Dembele is so good man that little turn was perfect I've been trying to put a little bit more like skilling into my game. I really do lack skills, um, but I'm, I'm trying to get it into my game. But simple turn like that, it's it's just opened up like the goal. So I do need to start doing it a bit more. Yes, Gomez, love to see that. Gomez and Wambasaka are going to be a good combo. Nice little ball there. The ball. I thought he was going to get onto that. Yes, Samedo. Two signings doing bits right now. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Excellent referee. Like, Yedda seems to have this thing where he just seems to lock onto things that he shouldn't, if that makes sense. <laughs> like, he seems to manage to lock onto things. Samedo can recover. He's got the pace. That's it. Nice. That's what Bellerin didn't have, just that extra like blistering pace. Obviously Bellerin's fast, 88 pace, but Mado was he like 94 or something? Fred. Good tackle, take it away. Grafenberg. Promise. Well, they might be onto something. It's a good goal. He split me open. Uh, he dragged my team the whole way down. They had all the space was at the top, so that was poor from me to be fair. Steven, 
He's a good player. He's really good. Less experience with Dib 2, I guess. No, Dib 3, sorry. Dib 3. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce defensive resilience to shut them down? They're not giving him any breathing room. Kleiber. Uh, kind of got out the press a bit too easy there. Well, straying offside, and it wasn't close. I think Tierney maybe is the next person to be upgraded. Like the same as sort of Bellerin, he's just not that extra bit of like blistering quality, if that makes sense. Oh yes, Yedda. That positioning from Yedda, so good. He is going to carry us if we make it to the weekend league. Hopefully we somehow get up into Div 2 as well. Because then we get that extra little bit of coins. Like, and change Rafinha to like Lucas. and Just a little upgrades, but they will make all the difference. Oh, that's a good ball. Yes, Gomez. Well played. Is that the right ball? No, it's a bit forced that. Oh wow. How's this happened then? That's well played. Backed off him a little bit. Kieran Tierney. Dembele. Well read to win possession. I didn't want that to go to Fred then. I wanted it to go to the the right mid. Or the left mid. Rashford. Oh, that's a good skill. Oh, I'm surprised he shot then, because the square pass was on. Bit of lag. Gomez again. Oh, that's a good skill. Good skill again. Remember Saka's there. Oh, he's hit the post. That's going in. Yeah. Every shot just seemed to just somehow make its way back to him then. But the defending, I felt, was okay. wan good tackle. He got the ball back. Uh, rebounds from shots that shouldn't have really gone back to him. But I was pretty unlucky there. I felt like I'd done everything I should have. Yes, Dembele. Oh, I thought that came off his guy, his defender. Didn't really be offside. Quincy promise. Now to Shera. Grafenberg. And the Foxes now in a potentially dangerous position. Oh wow, look at it. No Every rebound. Dembele. Rafinha. Oh, that's so bad. Why was that pass so bad there? Oh, that's such a good skill. This guy's definitely got the skills down. I'll give him that. This guy's really good. the second half commences both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched Kleiber now Paulinho <coughs> Alex Tellez has it Teixeira intercepting it intelligently Oh, that's so forced. What am I doing? Get us in. He locks onto things that you just wouldn't lock onto if he was anyone else. That was quite poor for me, to be honest. He's through on goal. That is such bad defending. 
Oh, I think it's whenever I do an episode, I always lose the game. It's the way. The way the cookie crumbles. This guy's good. I can't, can't argue that he's not meant to win because he's been better than me. So. Oh, that's the right pass. And was always going to be. Oh, he's got the skills on lock, man. He's really good, this guy. Mayday, that was quite weak, man. You know, Yed has locked on to somebody he shouldn't have again. Continue their push for the equalizer, but definitely not forcing it. Fred, and here's Dembele. Oh, they've lost possession of the uh, ball. Back into him. That's it, Dembele. Oh, how's he missed? For placement, maybe eight. I've read every one of those passes, man. Just give me the ball. Joe Gomez. It's with Paulinho. Real danger. Here's promise. Oh. He'll be cross <clears throat> with himself based on the position he had taken up. Well, yeah, it was poor technique, wasn't it? Thrashed out a little bit, went for power. They've regained possession. Uh, I got to push a little bit here. I'm going to go to attacking. And promise. Cutting off the supply. Gelson Martins. Here's Ben Yadair. He's going forward well here. Rafinha. An inability to keep hold of the ball. Oh, come on. Give me that ball. Teixeira. That's such a good press, then, as well. Oh, he's got me. Damn it. I am going to lose this game. I can feel it. So, Sorry that always seemed to lose on the episode. But, uh, oh. So frustrating. Like, I've been in this game. Been so in this game. But I just did doing stupid things. Even that, they're so forced. I shouldn't be putting the ball in there. Oh. Oh, I shouldn't be forcing the ball into Yedda. What am I doing? Oh, then my Gomez does that. Oh, I feel like I defended that well. My Gomez just didn't lock on to the ball. God damn it. I felt like I played well. I felt like I done everything right. This guy is obviously good, so sometimes you just got to bend over and take it, if you know what I mean. At least we got a goal back. <laughs> Game sometimes. Marcus Rashford. This might work out nicely for the This game sometimes. Well, he thwarted him almost effortlessly. Oh, he's really up from the map here. Could reduce the deficit. Yes, Dembele. We're back in it. Ball 5 4. Don't know how we turned this around. Put a few subs on. Uh, attempted by Texier, actually. Flip them around and then let's just put Chan in there. Bit of legs in midfield. I'm happy we brought it back to 5 4. I'm really happy with that. So. Well, just listen to the atmosphere, Derek. 
it. It's been such a tight game, but can they see this out now? The fans are certainly doing their bit. It's pulling me apart here. Promise. They show that. Good tackle from Gomez. He's on side. Oh, I don't know why I passed that. I think I just felt like it was Sissoko and he's not going to score, is he? <laughs> Emery Chan. 5-5. Five, five. What? Why would you even quit? Yeah, that's where I don't get the FIFA community. Like, Because not one of us gets anything out of that. Okay, that's fair enough. I was 5-5. Five, five. I brought it... I was, was it 5-2? I brought it back to 5-5. Five, five. This guy quit. Um, but well, that's okay. We get no points for that. We get nothing for that. We just lose contracts. and um, So yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to end the episode there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you later. Oh, and I will be streaming after this, after this is uploaded. So if you see this, you want to come check out the stream. Uh, I'm going to be streaming the rivals. So I'll see you guys in a bit.